Jamie Doherty here and I wanted to share with you the process video I recorded while I was at a convention recently. I was demoing throughout the day and I decided I was going to hook up my camera and record the process of my little betta fish. Now I use the Quick Cure Clay directly on the cover of my Dina Wakely Media Journal. I didn't do any prep work to the cover. I'm creating it directly onto the raw surface that comes on the journal. The great part about the Quick Cure Clay is it will adhere to anything porous. So chipboard, wood, even if you have metal that has tooth to it, it'll adhere to that as well. And I'm just forming it directly with my fingers at this point. It's a low relief sculpture that we're doing onto the cover. There's not a lot of dimension to it, but it still has a lot of detail. As you can see, I'm using my fingers in just a tiny bit of water to smooth it out against the edge of the cover. You don't want to add too much water to the surface though because it could create bubbling when you go to heat the clay. You can use it to kind of smooth out the surface with your fingers or tools, but try to keep the moisture to a minimum. Now I'm just creating his body form at this point and throughout the video I'll pop back in to give you some more instruction of what I'm doing while I'm creating our betta fish. to his tail. I'm just adding some clay to his tail. I'll add detail later with my palette knife. The nice part about this clay is I can do a base surface, add some detail, cure it with my heat gun, and then I'll be adding more depth and dimension with more clay once we have the first layer cured and cooled down.
knife to add texture and detail into his fins and tail. As you can see, I'm running it parallel with the clay. I'm not digging very deeply into the clay surface. I just want to add just a little bit of a, a dimension to the clay. I keep a paper towel or baby wipe handy so that I can wipe off any excess clay as I'm adding the detail. And I'm just going to continue this all the way around until I've had added all of those folds and depth to his features. sculpture piece or even my artwork I like to turn my canvas or surface around as I go this will allow me better access to some of the details as I'm adding my paint or sculpting my piece don't be afraid to turn your artwork around to give you better a better viewpoint as you work
finished the details in the fin and tail. So now I'm going on to add those little finishing touches like his eye. I'm adding in the gills. I'm going to add just a little hint of fish scales by using the very tip of my pout knife. It's actually the perfect shape to add the scales of a fish but I didn't go too heavy handed with it because I just wanted it suggestive. I wanted just a little hint here and there of texture across his body so he wasn't completely smooth. I'm adding the, the eye and I'm gonna add just a little bit of detail around the eye. That'll add another depth of dimension to his face. He's not gonna just be flat against the book. And then I'm gonna add some lips to him, his little fish lips. of the fish done I'm adding the secondary fin that goes towards the back of the fish his side fin and I'm just adding that in on top of his tail so it's in more of the forefront of the tail adding our texture into it and then once this is formed I can come in with my heat gun and dry and cure my first layer of our quick cure clay my first layer I'm going to go ahead and bring in my heated craft tool Rangers heat gun and I'm going to start the heating process in a few areas on the fish now since the quick cure clay is thinner on this project I'm going to help the curing process out by heat curing it with the heat gun in multiple locations if the quick cure clay was thicker it would actually be able to cure itself on its own a lot quicker than it does when it's thinner. The curing process is a thermal energy that builds through the clay and carries that heat throughout. Now if we're in a cool setting like I was in the convention center and my clay is thinner, it doesn't have the ability to quick to build that thermal energy like it would as if it was a thicker piece. So I'm just hitting a few of the fins with my heat tool until I see that the curing process has begun. And then I'm gonna move it around the edges in some of those thinner areas until the process is finished. But even doing that, I've got my finished project within a couple of minutes. Then I can allow it to cool down and add a second layer of clay to add more dimension to my betta fish.
mentioned earlier, I plan on adding more clay to our little betta fish. I wanted to add a little more depth to his tail so that it appeared to look like it folded over on itself. Being able to add more clay to an already cured piece makes it convenient, and if I ever did break a piece, I can mend itself with the quick cure clay. So I'm simply molding and shaping my additional clay over the top. I'm going to bring in my palette knife to add a little bit of tooling to the surface, and I'm going to kind of cup it so that it does look like it's folding over on itself. As you can see with my palette knife, I'm coming in and adding just a little bit of texture to match our previous layer. And once those score marks are done, I can come in and heat set it and cure it to the previous layer we already cured.
cured my second layer and I'm going to go ahead and clean up around the edges of our fish. Some of the areas didn't quite get cured all the way. The light marks that you see on the cover didn't build enough heat to actually cure it. So I'm able to bring in my wet wipe and clean up some of that excess clay, which gives me nice, solid, strong lines. Once your piece is cured and cleaned up, you can use any art medium you like and prefer over the top of the quick cure clay. For this particular project, I decided to use some of Dina Wakely's acrylic paints. I used multiple array of colors to blend and add contrast within the tail and fins. Now I would love to see your work using quick cure clay. Make sure to tag us so we could see all of your beautiful projects using this great new product.